friends, my name is Erin. Today's video is focusing on all the series that I am in the middle of. Now some of these I want to finish, some of these I don't, and there are some that I'm not sure about, so definitely make sure you stay for that part because I'd love to get some opinions on these. Also, Cinder says hi. <laughs> start with a series that I plan on finishing, or hope to anyway. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. I probably won't give a summary for the more well-known ones, but I do plan to tell you kind of how many books I own, what book I'm on, how many there are in the series, and maybe you can give me some idea of which ones I should prioritize. So let's just get started. Series number one, I don't know the name of the series, and that's gonna happen a lot because I don't really pay attention to it but the first book is The Alchemist and this is by Michael Scott this is a middle grade fantasy it's about twins that end up um, realizing that they are part of a magical world they are set to develop powers but they kind of have to get them unlocked and their story goes through there I have read book one there are six books I own book two the magician and book four the Necromancer. I somehow skipped book three and I actually picked up The Magician twice without realizing it. Next up I have The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I read book one probably four years ago and really enjoyed it. Um, it is a duology so I just need to pick up the second book and haven't yet. For those of you who don't know I have a TBR drawing game so the second one is in the drawing even though I don't own it. It just hasn't come up yet. The next series is the Agency series by Y.S. Lee. The first book is A Spy in the House. It's the only one I own. There are three other books in this series. It's a middle grade mystery series, and it was pretty fun to follow along. There's a developing romance in book number one. Probably not a priority for me, but I did like it, and I would love to read the rest. Similar to the last book, I have Dawn of Spies by Andrew Lane. This is book one of three. It's the only one I own, and it is another YA middle grade. This one follows two kids who were stranded on an island and got picked up and um, recruited as spies. And one thing I really love about this series is the friendship in this. I always love a good friendship. I do have a few graphic novels on this list. The first one is Saga. I've read volume one and two. I don't own any of the others. I think there are nine total. I really enjoyed this. The graphics are really cool. There is some adult content. I've read volumes one and two in the last like six months, so I want to keep that pace going. I have two other graphic novel series that I want to continue. The first one is Monstrous. There are four volumes in this, and I have have the first one I bought the second one haven't got to it yet I don't have a lot of graphic novels um, on my shelf so I feel like I'm gonna probably get to the second one pretty quickly okay I also read mouse volume one two three months ago by Art Spiegelman this is book one of two I found it really honest and dark but just very truthful and I definitely want to finish the story. The last graphic novel on this list, I actually just read volume two last month, and that is The Adventure Zone. This is a D&D graphic novel that follows the McElroy brothers. They have a podcast where they play D&D, and this kind of puts art to their game. I've read volumes one and two. I think three is out, four is coming out soon, and I am thoroughly enjoying the podcast. I would highly recommend the podcast because it gives you a lot more of their fun, quirky hilarity. This is a good rendition as well, especially if you love D&D. Orange, volume one and two. I've read volume one and immediately afterward bought volume two. I read through the first one pretty quickly, despite how thick they are. I think it is just a great read. It does have some serious topics, so keep an eye out for that, but a good manga if you're looking for one. Next up, I have The Remnant Chronicles. I read book one a long time ago, like maybe high school, college. It's The Kiss of Deception. I don't even have the cover anymore, but I loved the first one. I've talked about it in my last like three videos because I actually hauled the second one and then immediately read it. I read it this month. So the second one, The Heart of Betrayal, is good. It's not as good as the first. The first one's setting up a really cool story and a romance, and the second one just didn't quite deliver on either, but I still am excited to see how this one ends. There is one more book. All right, I have another series that I'm not sure 
what it's called. But the first book is Through the Evernight by Veronica Roth. I have all three books in this series. I read book one and two almost back to back and then I loaned my sister book three. I just never got to it. I'm pretty sure I read these around the same time I was reading like Hunger Games and Divergent. So it has been a long time. However, I still remember both pretty well and I think I could jump into book three without having to do a reread. I may even just like skim the first and second one because I really enjoyed the dystopia and the romance in this. It is definitely YA dystopian but I think it's different enough from like the Hunger Games that I would still enjoy it today. All right so we're not even like halfway through this yet so I'm gonna keep pushing because it's gonna be long. Uh, recently I read Aragon for the first time and I also own Eldest and Inheritance. You'll notice I'm missing book three, I think. You'll also notice that all of these books are different sizes, which is a little frustrating, but it is what it is. Okay, this next one is a YA series. I love the author. He wrote Sabriel, that's Garth Nix, but his YA series tend to be a little bit more hit and miss with me. So this is the Keys to the Kingdom series. There are seven books, one for each day of the week, and I have read Mr. Monday already. I do have Grim Tuesday, Drowned Wednesday, Sir Thursday, and Lady Friday with just a beautiful sticker right there in the middle. Um, I don't have Saturday or Sunday. So I need to pick those up. This next one I loved, loved book one and two and even three, four got a little iffy. And that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I also have Crown of Midnights. I have the prequel, The Assassin's Blade, which is a good one. Air of Fire and Queen of Shadows. I don't know where the covers are. Next up, we have Kandare Blade. The first book is Three Dark Crowns, which I have read. I've also read One Dark Throne. I have the third one, Two Dark Reigns. I think there is a fourth one that I need to pick up for this as well. All right, the Wayward Children series. I have no idea how many books this has, but they're novellas, and I have the first three. I've also read the second one, Down Among the Sticks and Bones. So next up for me, I think is Under the Sugar Sky. Another middle grade, I have The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. This is book number one, and I love the house on the cover of this. Um, book number two, I actually already read on audiobook, and so I just need to finish book three and four. I really enjoy this. This is about kid geniuses kind of working through puzzles, and it's really fun to work through those puzzles with them. The last three series that I plan on finishing are just long. They're just long, and that's why I haven't finished them. I mean, aside from the fact that I struggle to finish series anyway, but I also have a series of unfortunate events. I have books one through six, and I've read books one through four. I think there are 13 in this series, and they don't take long to read. I can usually finish them in one or two days, but if you've watched my channel at all, you probably know I'm also reading the Wheel of Time series. I have books one through six of this as well, and I've read books one through five. I was gonna try and read book six this month, but I don't think it's gonna happen. And last up for the series I'm definitely gonna finish is Mistborn Era 1 and in turn the whole Cosmere, right? Um, I've read The Final Empire, which is book one in Mistborn Era 1. Also just Cosmere-wise read Warbreaker. So I have the rest of Mistborn Era 1 on my shelf. I also have Elantris on my shelf. Let's talk about series I don't plan on finishing. Some of these I plan on unhauling, and some of these I plan on keeping one or two on my shelf, but I don't feel the need to finish the series. One I recently read that is a pretty new book, book number two is not out yet, but I, it just didn't click with me, is Good Luck Girls by Charlotte Nicole Davis. This follows girls who are escaping um, a brothel. It's kind of a Wild West escape story. However, there were a lot of plot conveniences, and I just didn't like a lot of the characters. I, I didn't feel the need to see where book two was going, especially once I looked up the synopsis. I am going to actually unhaul this book. I have a middle grade on this list, and that is Shadow Thieves. I read this a few months ago as well and enjoyed it. It is about two cousins who travel to the underworld 
to stop a plague that has been set upon them. And it was really good. I plan on keeping this on my shelf and maybe someday I'll get to it, but I think story one wrapped up really well because book one wrapped up and didn't really leave cliffhangers or a reason to continue. I probably won't pick up book two. We have Warcross next by Marie Lu, and I loved this book. So fun and easy to read. The world was really cool. The characters were enjoyable. There was a little bit of a romance, but I read reviews for book two, and it sounded like everything I loved in book one, everything I wanted more of, wasn't there in book two. The romance was awful. The characters completely changed, and the world-building Warcross game that they're all involved in hardly shows up. So, I yeah, I just am worried that, that if I read book two, I'll not like book one as much. Last up for this is Beautiful Creatures. I read this so long ago that I don't even really remember the premise. I have vague recollections. There's also a movie, and I do have the movie um, cover of this book. Again, it's one that I remember enjoying, but not really being so invested in that I had to pick up book two. And by now, it's been so long that I probably won't pick up book two. Again, though, I did enjoy it, so I'm keeping it on my shelf for now, anyway. Okay, let's talk about a series that I am unsure of. And this is where I really need you guys to weigh in. I think there are going to be some on here that are surprising, especially one that kind of goes against everybody else's opinions on booktube right now. So we're just going to start with that one. And that is Malice by John Gwynn. Now, everybody on booktube is falling in love with this series. I mean everybody. I don't think I've heard a negative review. And the thing is, I enjoyed it. I think I gave it three stars because I did like it. But I just don't know that I liked it enough to continue. And here's a few of the reasons why. And I don't know if these things get fixed in book two. So maybe I want to go on. We'll see. But book one had a lot of male characters and not a lot of female characters. And I struggle with that. In the beginning, all the male characters seemed very similar. And I had a hard time keeping them separate. So I really struggled with that. I struggled to develop connections to the characters because they all were so similar. And I think I just never really got invested in any of their storylines. I feel like it's it follows a lot of the main fantasy tropes. The prophecies, the chosen one, um, there are giants which were cool. I don't know if there was enough to stand out and make it different to make me want to read it because as you can see, I have a lot of series to finish, not to mention ones I haven't even started. I want to read Malazan. I want to read The Dresden Files. There wasn't enough in this to make me want to read book two over all the other things I want to read. I'm going to keep it on my shelf because maybe someday I'll pick it back up. This is just lower on my list than a lot of things, and I think that probably means that I won't get to it. <laughs> okay, let's talk about... Akatar. <laughs> I read the first book back when I was like super excited about Sarah J Mass and I think at that point I was reading Throne of Glass and I was in the first few books where it is definitely more fantasy than fantasy romance and I enjoyed that series more in the first few books when it was more fantasy driven. This is fantasy romance through and through and I think that's why I didn't click with it as well. My own book too haven't read it, it just got a lot thicker. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know. All right, two more. The next one is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This is book one. There are three books in this. Um, the next two are Thunderhead and The Toll. And I read this and really liked it. I think I give it four out of five stars. And I was super excited to pick up book two and book three. And then I started hearing negative reviews. And it made me just Again, I'm sure, kind of like with Warcross, do I want to ruin my experience of book one by completing a series when people weren't enjoying it? Because this is probably the one on this list that I enjoyed most, um, but I'm most hesitant, maybe not most hesitant, but I'm still hesitant to continue on. The last one on this list is the Fallen Kingdoms series. So I have the first three books and I've read all three of them. They are Rebel Springs, Falling Kingdoms and Gathering Darkness. 
I really liked the first book. This is another one that I read kind of in that dystopian era. It's not a dystopian. It's pretty much straight fantasy. But the thing I loved in book one was the romance. The romance for the main character switched from book one to book two. And then it switched again in book three. And, uh, I, and I just don't know if I can buy into it anymore. Because as much as I love the fantasy plot in this, I think the romance was part of why I was re reading it. I really liked the main romance in book one, and I enjoyed the follow-up romance in book two. But switching romances three times is just <laughs> hard for me. I don't know that I can do it. I'm still very loyal to the first few guys. There are three more books, so six books total. That seems like a lot of books for a series I'm unsure of. All right, there you have it. I think that is all the series I'm in the middle of, aside from maybe some kids' books. I don't know if Animorphs or, like, Goosebumps really count, but um, not to mention the ones I'm starting this month. I'm in the middle of the Black Company Chronicles right now, so that'll be another one that I plan on finishing. It's good so far. Um, and, like, Binti and Illuminae are on my list for this month if I get to them. I clearly have a problem. I don't finish series. I need to finish some of these instead of just continually reading the first book in a series, but I don't know. That's just my reading style, I guess. So here we are. I'm going to hold up these three because these are the three that I really want to know if you think I should finish and why. I need some motivation or some reasoning. I hope you have a great day. I hope this video makes you feel better at however many series you're in the middle of because, oh, I forgot one. A long way to a small angry planet. I'm in the middle of that series too. I've read book one. I've also read book one of Murderbot. Um, gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna stop here. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye guys.